Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Cheryl. Sorry, moving the camera already. My usual. Hello. Welcome. If you're new viewer, hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. And if you're returning viewer, welcome back. Okay. So let's get started. Um, <clears throat> this is a long overdue video. I do have reasons why I haven't been uploading anything. Um, some of them are private, but some of them I do want to share with you. Um, I've had a heck of a month uh, last month, or in November. It's still November, but the end of November. It's it's Thanksgiving in the U.S., so happy Thanksgiving to all my American friends. As you can tell from my voice, I do have a bit of a cold. I tested myself four times for uh, COVID, and it came out negative, so yay. The rest of the house, three other people got COVID, but I didn't. But I got a nasty cold, so... Still getting over that. I got a bit of a sore throat, and I sound kind of croaky, but I'm fine. Anyways, this is not a knitting or a crochet video. Oh, look. My shirt's all wrinkled. Oh, my gosh. I should have made myself look more prettier before I came on camera. Oh, well, you don't come here to look at how pretty I am. Because <laughs> if you did, that would just be creepy. Anyways. <laughs> Where am I going with this? Um... Yeah, happy Thanksgiving to all my American friends and family. I do have family in America, so happy Thanksgiving. And we celebrated Thanksgiving uh, last month because I'm in Canada, so we have Thanksgiving. <coughs> oh my goodness, sorry. In um, October. <coughs> I don't know if that was a cough or a sneeze, but it was something. We're going to get through this. Sorry if I broke your eardrums. Okay. So, um, yeah, we celebrate Thanksgiving in October, being Canadian, and I don't know why we have two different Thanksgivings. Does anybody know? I don't know. It's, it's just weird. Anyways, I'm babbling. Okay, so let's, let's talk bookish things. Well, first let's talk why I'm not a little video. So apart from getting sick, which I'm still getting over, um... My, I wear dentures. I'm not ashamed of it. I, I, I lost all my teeth when um, one of my medications rotted all my teeth. I wasn't warned about that, which I'm kind of mad about. But, um, yeah, so I had to get all my teeth taken out, and now wear dentures. And this tooth right here popped out the other day when I was about to do videos. So I had to wait a week before I could get in and get it fixed. I had to pay money to get it fixed, and it's like one little tooth, and it costs so much money. Anyways, I digress. So anyways, I did that. So now I have, you know, my teeth back in, so that's good. But that's why I didn't do any videos for that week. And then I got sick, and then um, some things happened. I could use some prayer for my family, if you believe in prayer. Um, something happened to one of my family members that is quite serious, and... Um, I'm not going to get into it because it's it's something that is not my story to tell. But um, something came up and we're really worried and we're just trusting God right now. We're just leaning on Jesus and trusting God. But um, if if you believe in God and in prayer, please, please uh, send up some prayers for my family. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so um, this video, first of all, we're going to talk about the readathon that didn't happen for me. Yeah, because, you know, a couple of videos ago, videos ago, I put up a video, okay, I'm going to get this out. So, I put up a video a couple of days ago about um, Historathon, and how I had all these books I was going to read for Historathon in, in November, and I had plans on reading them. I really did. Was it in November or October? It was in November, right? I don't even remember. I had all these plans, and then and I got sick. My eyes got all owing and owing is that a word? Owing? Can you tell them around kids a lot? My eyes were hurting a lot from allergies and from other stuff, and it just, I couldn't read. I've hardly read anything in the last couple of months. And I didn't read any historical fiction. Yeah. So, um, I still have them. I have them over there. I have quite a few books I want to read. And then I've got some up there that I still want to read. Those are all library books. 
So I still want to read a lot of those books. I just wasn't able to do it in the month of November. So, I mean, some of them are getting pushed to January probably, but because in December I want to read a lot of Christmas books. So leading on, that leads perfectly into what we want to talk about today. Wow, go me. Okay, so I have some Christmas books from the library. I'm getting more, but I got a couple here that are a few that I want to show you that I'd like to read in December. So this first book um, is one that's actually due at the library in two weeks, I think, or a week. I think it's two weeks, so I have to read it soon because it's got holes on it, so I can't renew it. And it is, what is it called? Home Sweet Christmas by Susan Mallory. Susan Mallory, Susan Mallory writes romance novels. Now, I'm not in for spice. I don't like hardly any spice in my romance books. This, her books have a little bit of spice. Some of them get, in my books, quite, like, in my mind, they're kind of spicy. Some people don't think it's anything, and it's hardly anything. I think it's quite a bit. But this, as far as I'll go, is reading one of these books. So, I have read a couple of Susan Mallory books, and, I mean, I've enjoyed them. Again, the spice I'm not really in for. Um, but I want to try this, because I did like another Christmas book she wrote. I forget one, one, which one. No, it wasn't a Christmas book. It was, um, I forget what it was called, but I enjoyed it. And then I've looked at other ones of her books that I haven't read, but this one I want to try. This one came out this year, so I just came out last month, I believe, so I'm looking forward to reading that. Then I do enjoy Sarah Morgan's woman fiction, so I got a few of hers. I got a wedding in December. Now, I love this cover, by the way. Isn't it gorgeous? If you watch my videos every year, every Christmas, this book is always on my tabar. Tabar? <laughs> can't talk today. My TBR or my plan for readings in books to read in. Okay. I give up. I can't talk. Um, it's always in my TBR for Christmas. I have started reading this book several times. I had to quit, but not because I didn't enjoy it. I did enjoy it. I just never finished it. But this year, this is the year. I, you can hold me accountable. I'm going to read it. And I love that cover. One that I've already started is the Christmas Murder Game. <clears throat> oh. <coughs> oh my goodness, I sound awful. I'm really not that bad, honest. I sound worse than I am. The Christmas Murder Game by Alexandra Benedict. This is a book that came out this year, I believe. Did it come out this year? I think it did. Yeah, 2022. Oh no, it says 2021, 2022. Why does it say two? Is it the first one was done in 2021? It said copyright 2021 and then it says 2022. So it must have originally been published in 2021. I don't know. Maybe it was indie published and then published um, traditionally after. I don't know. Anyways, I'm reading this. I'm enjoying it so far. It's got low readings on Goodreads, but I'm looking forward to reading. I'm on page 33. Enjoying it so far. This, I never told what any of these are about. I don't know what this is about, to be honest. I haven't read the back. I just want to go at it blind. This one is about a husband and, or is it that one? I can't remember if it's the right one. The white family. Oh, right. What, okay, so this husband and wife are getting divorced or have gotten a divorce. They haven't told the family. And I'm told their kids and one of their daughters is getting married. So they go to her wedding in a different like city or country or something. And they have to pretend that they're still married. So, yeah, looking forward to that. There's also a bunch of family stuff going on. This one is about a woman who her aunt, her favorite aunt, I said it gets her aunts. Was it her grandma or her aunts? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but she, her, we'll say her aunt. Her aunt has a Christmas game going on, but after she dies, she leaves this big will thing that um, says that all of her relatives, her nieces and nephews and grandkids and all of them have to play a Christmas game to see 
and whoever solves it wins the inheritance, which is the house. And so uh, the character, who is Lily, um, goes back after her, goes back to do this game because she got a letter from her aunt saying that she knows how her Lily's mom died. And Lily's mom was killed a few years before, apparently of suicide. And from the grave, her aunt is saying, no, it was not suicide. Go do the Christmas game and you'll find out the real answer. And apparently murder ensues. So I'm looking forward to finishing that. I gotta move. Gotta get the rest of the books. Urgh. Okay. Another Sarah Morgan. This one I have not even started. It's one more for Christmas. This one looks really cute. This is about um, Sister Samantha and Ellen Mitchell. Who enjoy Christmas together. Then their strange mom comes, and it's been five years since they've seen her. Um, and then it's about the mother's life and the daughter's life, um, and why they're estranged, and why she has suddenly turned up for Christmas. And I, I'm, I have a feeling that it might be something sad, like she's dying or something. I don't know. But I'm looking forward to reading this. I'm really looking forward to reading that. Then we have another Sarah Morgan. Because I'm doing all Sarah Morgans. This is the Christmas Escape. This is so cute. Look at that. That is so cute. Little snowman. Little girl. So this one is about Christy Sullivan. Who goes to a trip to Laughlin with her family and best friend Alex. Um, but facing a marriage crisis, Christy desperately needs time alone with her husband. Her solution, Alex can take Christy's daughter to Laughlin and they will reunite for Christmas Day. Um... And it's all about how Christy and Alex are fighting for their own relation, not their relationship, but their subsequent relationships, and how a little girl um, changes everything. And I'm just looking forward to reading this. I'm looking forward to that. How many times can I say that? Okay. Oh, my hair looks horrible. I did do my hair on this, but it just looks horrible. So these two books, let me explain. Next year, I found out, okay, get this out, Cheryl. I love Debbie Maycomber books. They're cheesy. Yes. Are they romantic? I think so. And I love Debbie Maycomber books because they're clean and they're decent and I love the romance stories. I've only, I mean, I've read quite a few of them. But then when I went and looked to see how many books she has in her backlist, over 200. I've read maybe 10 of them, maybe. And I don't remember any of them because that was years ago. So I decided, as a challenge, I'm going to read all of Debbie Makeover's backlist. Eventually. Not in one year. That's not going to happen. But I decided next year I want to read two books every month. Okay, my camera is pausing and doing weird things. I apologize. So... I want to read two Debbie Maycomber books every month next year. Am I going to do this? Is it going to work out? I don't know, but we're, we're going to try. Work with me here. We're going to try. Some of them will be audiobooks. Some of them will be physical. But I did find some Debbie Maycomber books. I decided to try to start it this year because I want to read Christmas books. And if you know Debbie Maycomber's books, she is the queen of Christmas romance, I think. So, I got a few. I got a couple, and then I got more coming in at the library, because if you're going to start reading Debbie Maycomber, you might as well read more than, like, just one or two, because she does really good Christmas <laughs> That's just what I'm saying. So, this book I've actually read at least once, I think twice, but I've never seen this cover. But I think I've read it once or twice, and that is Starry Night by Debbie Maycomber. Look at that. Isn't She has the best covers, too. Like, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And they're kissing. Ooh. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm, apparently, I'm still 12 years old. Anyways, yeah, so I'm looking. I, if you guys are enjoying this video, are you okay? Because I'm, I'm kind of weird today. Then we have Mr. Miracle. I read... I never read Mrs. Miracle. I saw the movie Mrs. Miracle with, um, I just saw it just a few months ago too. 
And then um, it was so sad. It was beautiful, but it was a hard one to watch. Probably because I'm go I'm trying I'm gonna try not to spoil it, but it has to do with adoption and foster kids. And kids who want to be adopted or are about to be adopted, losing kids you adopted, that kind of thing. Not not the kids dying, I don't mean that. I mean like if you are fostering a child and you're ready to adopt that child and then suddenly the child has to go back to their biological parents, that kind of thing. It is very sad and very hard to watch. It was a beautiful story. Beautiful, don't get me wrong. The actors were great. The story was so beautiful. And I cried. It Anything with kids and I cry. <laughs> So, this one is Mr. Miracle, anyways. And this is large print. Some of them were large prints. This one was large print, too. Um, Mr. Miracle, I don't know what it's about. But Mrs. Miracle is about a lady who helps families. She's got, I think there's a couple books out with her in it. And, um, is she an angel? We don't know. Mr. Miracle apparently is about Mr. Angel. I don't know. I haven't read the back of this. Um, his name is Harry Mills. Yeah, they're guardian angels. I forgot, they're guardian angels. Mrs. Miracle, Mr. Miracle. Right, I forgot. So they are an angel. I just answered my own question. But they go and help people. I'm excited to read this. I don't know exactly what it's about. All I know is it's Christmas and a beautiful cover and it's miracles and I just love it. A lot of Debbie Maycomer books have the faith theme. But there isn't a lot of, like, preaching in it. It's just beautiful um, romance stories that are behind closed doors. And, I mean, the most they do is kiss, usually. And um, usually it's at the end of the book. So, um, this one, again, has angels in it. So, if you don't really agree with or believe in angels, you might not like this. But, again, it's not preachy. It doesn't um, quote Bible verses or anything like that. I don't think. But it, it just has... A beautiful, like, angels coming to help you get through something, you know. So, I'm really going to look forward to that. Um, what is this one? Oh, no, that's Starry Night. That's it. That's all the Christmas books I have out so far. I have a lot of other books I have to finish before the end of December. I mean, November. And then in December, I'm reading. I'm thinking of just reading Christmas books. So, yay. I'm excited. Are you excited to read Christmas books or holiday books? Please excuse me. I, like, I don't mean that you have to read Christmas books. It can be any holiday. Um, <clears throat> whatever you believe, whatever you celebrate. My throat is leaving me, so I'm going to go. Um, but let me know in the, in the description box below what you're reading for December. Um, what holiday you celebrate in winter. And, um, anything you want to talk about, I love talking in the comments. I know there's been a few comments in the beginning, <laughs> like six years ago and five years ago, where people left comments and I didn't know how to report, reply to them. Yeah, I was that much of a newbie. And, um, now I look back and I've got, like, a few comments that never got answered. And I feel bad because I can't answer them now. Like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I don't want to answer them now after five years, but anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. It's cold out. It's not winter. It's not snowy yet. It was snowy for a few days, but it got a lot of snow here, but not as much now, but have a great day. God bless you and all you do. Bye, guys.